board here, the numbers, 1 to 40, you will need a car park ticket to put in your car to park on the Crown Meadow and the Corporation Meadow. David Smith. Oh, five. 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 Thirty-six. Your tickets, Thank you. That's a peg wasted, isn't it? All over Barbara Show. Perfect, John. It is for. Well, we can't get in. You can park behind your peg, but the gates have got padlocks on. There's a this, there's a padlock here as well. Try that one. Oh, the gate should be open, the gate should be open. How many matches have you been on? And someone said that, and you turn up and the gate's bloody locked. And there's some, some bloke still having a bacon sandwich somewhere, saying, oh, it should have been open. Oh, wait, it was me, wasn't it? Um, but we're trying to get in. Oh, and you can park behind your peg, which is the only reason I'm here today. I couldn't push a barrow at the moment. This is the first day of the river season and it's a river fest qualifier, it's a Friday. Oh, the gates, is it open? Yeah. Oh, we've got that barrier there, no worky. That barrier there, no worky. Total gridlock. Yeah, nice day. Uh, Bladdering it in with magazine casters, catching pop job and the odd big one shallow hopefully we shall see we are friends and go for that roll in roll in roll in well that's the years for that's 35 so I'm one further down so Paul Pasmore's on the peg I'm one below it. Could do without pads there. What are you, Trev? Yeah. 37? Really? Never goes in. Oh, great. Oh, well. No idea. This is a bit. Well, I'm not getting in anyway, that's good. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so stuttering already. Good morning everyone. I'm just about to start at Evesham. Struggling today. Um, I'm in the shade so it's nice. Don't get Covid. I'm just going to put a couple of bait droppers in four, four sections out. There's loads of small fish. There were some little chuplets at the start. Um, I'm going to put two of those in. And um, I plumbed up a pole swim 14 and a half and a waggler swim anything from that to three quarters. It's all cabbages after that. I quite fancy it. Let's move that a little bit. So yeah, I'm on 36, which is 35 as he is born. Paul Pasmore was on that. Absolute brilliant river anger. Plastered my my uh, my garage conversion, so uh, I know him really well. And he was in the River Fest final, framed in the River Fest final last year. Just brilliant, brilliant angler. I rate him so highly. And then I've got Trevor Chalk below me, absolute River Avon Evesham legend as well. 
so we're up against it a bit but we'll give it a try now normally 36 has two empty pegs below at least sometimes three today they put 37 in which is very very rare to put in um, to slow me down um, but they've still left 34 out above pass so I'm sandwiched between 35 and 37 um, so I'm making me excuses now I'm between two river legends and um, I haven't got this room below me that I'd normally have but I should catch some fish so perch and chub there we are shout it all in so just dollop a couple of these in feeding now because Paz is feeding already. I'm going to start on casters. Well, I'm actually no, I'm going to feed casters and maggots together. I'm just going to fish mid river to begin with. I think there's, there's a load of bleak moving. A load of bleak. But we'll pop two of these in. See if we can get some chublets got loads of bait because I was at on a three day festival so we've got two of those in anyway. I can see the bottom here so I, I'm not going to catch there I don't think not today and it's only about like it's not even three foot down there so you see I've put my platform in just, just to get out another metre for helping me fish longer but also to stop the fish snagging me on the inside sorry about my stuttering it's getting worse but I'm getting my tests Monday so fingers crossed this isn't my last river match of the year it bloody feels like it might be <laughs> That's too big, it's part of a medium bill. I don't want to miss 10 bites at the start. I was just hope, hoping to catch a few pound of perch short to begin with. Let's get these sections ready. In case we yonk some out, we don't have to shove the pole out. Yeah, I'm just a couple of inches over there. This is my heavy rig, 12 to 14 of slick. And, uh, I'm hoping it'll just whiz under with a perch. I was just hoping to draw a nice perch peg today. <laughs> so I've got a heavy gram and a half rig for ligging on. And uh, I've got a half gram rig for running through if it's a bit chubbier or when it just tails off a bit but I'm hoping I can just catch a few perch short to begin with whilst I prime prime the pole stroke waggler swim I'm just going to feed the pole at the start rightly or wrongly the waggler is going to be a bit awkward now this lovely when we got here but it's um it's like a downstream wind now. So we'll see. I'm trying to make all my excuses now. But we'll keep spraying some casters in. If I can catch them on the pole, great. But um, I think I'll be wide with fishing. But we'll see. I'm going to feed maggots and casters together for a bit, but hopefully I'll just wean them on to casters. But you could want eight pounds to qualify. You could want twenty pounds to qualify. Let's see what Paz has got there. Got something.
but I've got two Wagner rods and uh, oh, well that's never happened before oh it's just unscrewed itself mm -hmm. yeah, so. yeah, two Wagner rods, a feeder rod so I've got two Wagner rods a feeder rod and uh, a couple of strung out long pole rigs First chub of the year. I don't know if didn't know you were on. I think a lot of people would have started on the float on the um whatever out, but I just fancied catching like this a few fish to begin with. They've not been fished for, first day of the season. I'm hoping they're a bit stupid. I mean, you could do five pound in the first half an hour if there, if there's any number of perch there. You might lose feed a few casters there as well. But this is my heavy rig, so. They also leave the two pegs below normally, at least two pegs below, because that's where boats turn but uh, they've done it just deliberately Lee, Lee Gardner pegs this he, he likes to he likes to slow the good pegs down <laughs> bless him so uh, if I haven't got out it's me um, but uh, if that's the right thing then I'll have a chop see these were about at the start Yeah, so proper tugboat coming through. So far, so good. Two little chublets. I'm hoping there's a load of chublets further out. Gordon, his name is. We give him some bait. Gordon the gopher. Because they've not been fished for, it could be good. Where are we? We are rolling, yeah. It could be, you know. They'll get a bit of shower shock after today, but it's been red off for well over a week now, which is the only problem. And, uh, these fish it's, it's a really clear river as you'd expect as Evesham always is see I didn't know that was on that's what we got we've got our first eel I think So I'm going to have to shadow up a little bit. Oi, don't bite me. Can I see me up? Yeah, I've caught me up back. Wow. That's a good sign. Let's shallow up a little bit. I didn't know that were on. It was only lip hook. A perch, two chub, and an eel. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
this is what I wanted to do on a lot of pegs. <laughs> this is my plan. I'm sure, in this peg has thrown a bit of a spanner because of uh, the the chub. I'm not gonna. I can always fish past this pole line. But I'm gonna keep it nice to begin with. One. So that's how I'm gonna go. Another trip. Fresh bit, I think. Tab even not to do, put the chop bit back in with a worm. Let's, let's try and find it. I don't like putting it back in with the worms. I don't want to kill it. But brilliant there's. We keep throwing a few casters in as well. Try and catch some chub. I'm fishing strong elastic because well you can see all the cabbages and everything around me. Just gotta boss those fish as soon as you hook them. So they're twitching as well. Right. right. I'm gonna stop talking for a little bit now and concentrate on uh, fishing. Decent start. Had probably another five fish, perch and chublets. I've had a couple on double caster. We keep leaves feeding some casters there. Um, just debating whether to put some more worms in. So I think there's a few males there. down his throat. Oh, gotta be careful putting them in the net. They flip as soon as you let go. Look at that proper mangled. Let's even catch one more. Look right because it's nice shade, red hot. Forgotten what anglers are. I think you just make the most of trying to catch them here because I think after a couple of matches you won't catch them like this. But we're catching them off guard. Ooh. <laughs> I saw him, only a little one. Still going under, so let's just let's just stay where we are for now. I hope those casters I'm throwing in are doing some good. We'll catch them shallow on the long pole as well. Probably should start feeding a little bit further downstream. I'm probably fishing too far in front. But if they come up in the water. I want to be down that way a little bit really. I'm just got to settle myself now. 
It's nice that they're catching. As it gets hotter and hotter, this, this shade will change and you'll probably be able to see where I'm catching them. So it'll be gone by then. I think we need to put some worms in. Let's pull some fish back. Just one. A great start anyway. I'm surprised to see an eel so soon as well. Let's put a load of wind. And some casters. Try not to spill it before we get out. Hopefully, this won't scare them too much. Some more casters, I think. I think I've brought plenty. Just sort of edging it through. We've got a couple of pounds already, I think. I've also not got a hole in the net. So I might unsettle them for a little bit, but I think we need to feed. So it's a gamble we've got to make. Could have fed it in soil, but. I prefer to bait dropper if I can at the, mat, on the peg like this. I think we need to go back. back over that. Probably spooked him for a little bit. That's fine. And we'll try that single caster as well. Especially if there's some chub about. I'm going to go on with this a bit harder now. They might have killed the peg, but they'll be back. And in greater numbers, as Obi-Wan Kenobi would say. I'll catch one more and then the cameras are going off because I just need to concentrate now. As you can tell, that bait dropper that went in has put them off a little bit. We'll try that light rig in a sec. It's a gamble we've got to take because I need to catch a decent weight. I'm going to have to catch double figures, I think, looking at it today. Which is a good weight for Evesham. So that's half hour gone anyway. Let's draw a smaller bit of worm on next chalk. I'm 
we're still priming that swim anyway. We'll go on that very soon. Ooh, right at the end, right at the end of the bay. First look on my lighter from out rig. Just off bottom, single caster. I'm itching to go longer, but I just think there's still some fish here. So whilst I'm doing that, I'm still priming. Oh, dace. Dace. So we're getting different species. I'll try double mag it in a second. Though. I might not be feeding them This is a half gram rig, 16 to 012, so still beefy, but uh, got one eye on better fish, basically. Has has definitely had some decent chub. I've seen one roll in his peg as well. So he's on the mouth of the river. So I'm kind of expecting him to win from there. If you had to choose my peg or his, you'd definitely choose his. I've got a clean run through there. Got two. two there. I think there's still a few pups there, but they just they've gone a bit on edge now. a little bit of worm on this rig as well. There's definitely some small fish about. I see that was a better fish rolled in my feed then I'm sure it was. So I'm gonna start off just three or four foot deep I think. The hardest thing a peg like this is what elastic to you. I'm gonna start off on a six but I might have to put an eight on eight to ten. Sack it off. Well, we've probably overstayed our welcome. Short. Sure. We'll pop a dollar for worm in them just before we come off it. If, it, if not, we'll just go a little bit further and fish back through instead. My peg's a lot narrower than 35. He's got the whole mouth of the river in front of him. Not 
not right that rig. Get back to me meaty one. Probably just four or four actually. Which is, yeah. Pop a single caster on to start with. We'll swap between double maggot caster. Try and find a nice big one. Yeah. We'll start off with that and say hopefully we won't get run ragged by chocolate. I can tell if you actually fed the right distance or not as well. Where's the float? Perfect. We'll see if there's any trouble at mid river. I'm just fancying some in mid float. See the bleak and everything there as well, obviously. Already, I think we're going to be on stronger gear. It's a good sign, though, isn't it? Keep your gobble, keep your gobble. Keep. I already feel a uh, Justified for trying to catch him on the pole. Mm, six last, it worked okay, didn't it? Let's stick to the six for now. I'm not going to change straight away. But chub first, chub. Happy days. Well, it's good this river fishing, isn't it? A bit different to catching up one shower. Right, so they help themselves as well. So have a nice long line. I've got a full depth rig strung out as well, which is on a top four. But I've got a good two. To, well, two or three metres of line above there. Sometimes it's a while to remember how to fish a river. I've been looking forward to this match. through now and I ain't the best at it so fish to your strengths and the conditions What's this one Johnny boy wow good this isn't it
little to the top there. Now I'm gonna come in off. This is a 0.3 gram um, Pablo RWC blade, one mil nylon tip. It takes eight number 11, I think this one. We can try maggot, a bit of worm. I've just cut out the maggots a bit for now. Cam's going to go off again, I'm afraid. Bye for now. Uh, just hooked a bigger one. on a bit of worm head and I've just put this on a worm head. That's a better one. That six elastic is ideal actually. They're not causing me any problems. a tiny bit of worm. It's a bit bigger than my cast. Changing my depth a bit. But, um, mm. Maybe just stick where we are for now. Hardest thing is seeing your float, the river of light keeps changing. I mean, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, and only a thin bristle. So you've got to keep your eye on it. I'm enjoying this, but I'm being knackered. Just hope me. The biggest thing for me now is keeping my concentration. If I can just do this all day, I'm fine. I might have to put the pole down and pick the wagger up for a little bit. I think mixing it up keeps them confused. Greg's catching some little pups there on the waggler. Deeper than me as well, so uh, we'll drive it deeper next. But I am getting some stabs shot. Oh, I picked one there. Pop the caster back on, I think. Oh, 
bus. That was a chub, wasn't it? to catch him on the pole. Presentation the same as later. Definitely some fish there anyway. Welcome to Eversham. Blazing up now. Uh, I have a few, but I think I need to rest it now. I think I'm, I'm beating them on the other side at the moment, but it's obviously early days. They've caught smaller fish, I think. So let's have a drop back on this and then uh, try and cover everything up as well because it's getting really hot now. I'm in full sun. Back to 50 on today. Let's see if there's anything on those whales. I'll keep feeding, just let them build up again. They're definitely catching smaller fish on the back there, so it's just a lot settled here. But even if we don't catch, we're, we're giving that long swim time to settle down again. I've had a bleak as well, you missed that. So I've had a bleak, a dace, perch, chub, and an eel. The only thing I haven't had is a roach, which doesn't surprise me too much. Bring up and dripping a few casters here, not those. Oh, there you go. Ooh, crikey. That's savage, that bite. Nick the worm. Just looked away. And it was shot under. <laughs> Could have been a little one. I'll never know. A little small bit of worm on. First decent one I've seen now. Mm. I don't think there's any need to go on it just yet though. I think I can catch more on the pole. But 
Just been away. We depend on shadows and sun and everything as well a little bit, but that's the main part of the river. So uh, I'm hoping they just want to be down the middle. Right, shot under around there. So I have a quiet spell now, but I just feel I need to let them regroup on that pole. And we could always search past it. I could go another pole section. I could always um, we can go another pole section, or we could. Um, Sixteen to O ten now. And a nicer sixteen. Subtly trying to tell the guy behind him to move on. I don't think he's getting the message. Yeah, they keep sitting on that chair. To the guy sat on the chair. <laughs> they keep sitting on that bloody chair. Oh, right, what, the one I'm sat on? Yeah. So he's on about you, mate. enough time to let them prime and establish that they they've gone a bit on this inside. <laughs> Here's an idea, walk your dog in the morning or in the evening rather than the middle of the day and they won't get too hot. No good deed ever goes unpunished, Trev. Oh, I've got the wrong rig on. That's a short rig, I thought something was wrong. I've got the wrong rig on.
but you wish you said no now, Trev. The lady kindly asked if her dog could drink. And uh, he says, oh yeah, see so you're asked nicely, yeah. And now there's about four old ladies all having a, a nutter. <laughs> First pike. Oh, uh, you learnt your lesson there, Trev. Next time, tell him to f off. <laughs> I know. It's uh, six gossiping friends that you didn't see. I'd have roped it off. Put some barbed wire there. It's like, you know, there's quite a bit of river they could go for a drink. I've had my first pike strike anyway. Another go as well. Quiet and I caught that one. I'm going to explain it. Maybe some bigger ones about. And a little uh, bit of bit of worm. Because there seem to be a few little bleak about. And that's gone off. I thought Castor and I had that better one again. Maggots are a bit of a waste of time at the moment. Or one pike strike. I think you might explain why the short line's gone a bit. A bit funny. Uh, this is my last ever river match. It's a nice one. There's worse ones to have. <laughs> no. Let's see what the old doctor says.
Everything but a roach. Yeah, about the same. Had a bit of pipe trouble though. Keep sniffing me chub. Oh, that one came off. First, first one that's come off, huh? Yeah. Well, the women gobbier than blokes these days. Eh? Definitely are, aren't they? Women have bigger gobs than blokes. It seems to be up and down a bit now. Not have many boats actually. <coughs> Definitely gone quiet. Okay? Just 
deep enough, I thought. I think they've dropped down a bit. They did drop right down the peg, but then I had a run of bikes at the top of the peg, so. Two, two and a quarter hours to go still. I've got double figures, I must have. drop in and have a little chocolate. Last time I had a look, but I'm just getting an odd little dink and that's it now. I've got half hour to go. I've licked on I've had um probably a two ounce perch and a pound chub. Um topped up a few times. Um, it's just gone, everyone's not catching now, but I don't think Paz, I think he's struggled above me after catching quite well on the waggler to begin with, and Chalky stopped catching on the waggler below me as well. I've been picking an odd fish off, um, but you've got to rest it, and I've had a, a pipe take a chub, but it's let go, and I got the chub in probably three ounce, four ounce chub. So I thought I got a great big chub, but no, it's just twitched us. Um, but yeah, just got to keep pop, popping something in the net now. But I keep having to rest that line. They were right at the bottom of the peg. Um, but then they came shallow again. I'm proper ligging on now anyway. A good three quarters of a worm. I'd say I had a nice chub and a and a perch. That's probably probably it now. But I've had a roach as well. So I've caught every species now other than bream. We'll keep uh, I'm just gonna have another couple of runs through on the pole and now I'm gonna literally might spend the last 20 minutes on the waggle right at the bottom of the peg. Because definitely some have been sitting right at the bottom. Shame my batteries run out, but you'd have seen that chub at that point. It's definitely a lot more important that I uh, just try and fish while I'm playing to the cameras today. Oh, it's hot now. <coughs> I've tried going 16 meters but it's not made any difference. It's even chasing right down at 60 meters. Just seems better to hang on at this sort of range. It was weird, it felt like there weren't a fish shallow at all. Then I had a little run of little and shallow. Then I've had to go sort of three inches off the deck and catch them at the bottom of the peg. It's almost like there's a diagonal line and I'm catching them along that diagonal line depending where they want to sit. So there's some little fish suddenly in the peg I think. I can actually see a few top in now. I don't take anything now just to boost my weight but I'm sure there's some chub there. I'm sure there is. 
But you, you've definitely got to keep resting it. The last half of the match has been a bit, a bit funnier really. And I've scaled down as well to a slightly smaller hook. I started off on a 16, I'm on an 18 now. Oh no, I chucked him back. Told ya. That's the first one I've thrown back. Look. They're flippers, aren't they? Slippery suckers. Hopefully that hasn't cost me. Apparently someone's had five green on peg 66. Um, but he's not in my zone. I'm not doing well in the zone anyway. Possibly winning it, or you just don't know. Someone could have had a, a barbel or two, or some tench or anything, you just don't know. A lot of people have packed up. Dave Harold, I think Paul Glenfield, walk in the bank. So I've had a, a brilliant day. That's the worst part of my day, chucking that little fish back. Could have done with that one, couldn't I? But yeah, they're definitely up and down the peg a bit more now. Mostly on a cast. I've had a few on a bit of worm. I've had one decent one on a dead maggot, but then nothing after that. So I've hung the changes a little bit. I've tried live maggots, waste of time today. But I have been feeding casters, so not fed any hemp. Maybe I should have, I don't know. Didn't seem to have done me any harm not feeding it. But maybe that would have settled on the bottom and given me something else to fish for on the bottom. Maybe we'll get another one, shall we? You know? Yeah. Oh that was a that was a dunk. I think there's a few there, but they're just super hard to catch now. Is that because you just chucked that bugger? I tried up in the feed, it didn't seem to work. Maybe I should try it again now, though. Got nothing to lose, do I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not knowing about. Smash my caster. Where's he? No, it's still on. I think there's one or two up in the water again now. Come on. Come on, baby. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go 16 metres again. Just off the back of that feed. Yeah. And then we'll pick the waggler up. Just about eking bites out on this now, I think. Complaints about my day's fishing. if someone's had five bream but I don't really think I've got a chance of framing I picked up the wrong 16 to get a section so it's a fancy it's right but it, it, it'll work so we're going a bit further now probably can see the float a bit better there as well or can we yeah the back of the feed now. Possibly should have gone there sooner. But the wind did get up. Really started to blow downstream quite a bit when I first on there. Yeah. I'm gonna 
I better not pick it out soon. Huh? Oh, I've got to watch out for pike now because there's definitely a, an odd pike about. It's only a little pup. Alright, don't fall off this time. Well, there we are. <laughs> nice day fishing. Absolutely shattered. Oh, I can see the pike down here. I'll show you that in a sec. But uh, I think I've beaten them either side. I must have 15. So, so yeah, happy with that. A bit tired and knackered now. But I've just fished apart. I picked the bag up at a little bit at the end. Um, wish I hadn't because when I put it back down it tangled up with all my rigs but uh, yeah the last five ten minutes has gone a bit to pop so uh, but f fingers crossed we're in the final we'll see we'll see I've got a really good chance anyway I've got a real good feeling wish me luck picking up 80 pounds for the weight of 12 pounds four of peg 77 just don't touch anything yeah and fourth, picking up £100, is Paul Pashnell with 16.14 of 35. David Schultz with a weight of 17.4, picking up £120 of pick 45. David Schultz. He's got it, sorry. In second place, picking up £140 with a weight of £18.14 ounces of peg 66 is John Lafferty. Well done, John. And your overall winner today, picking up £160, is John Arthur. With 22.14 of peg 36. Well done, John boy. Not bad for an invalid who can't speak properly. I got a golden ticket. And I've won the match as well. So they had five bream further down, but they went 18 pound. There was a 17 and pads to my left had 16 pound. So, can't believe it. Fantastic. River Fest final, here we go. I was second in a qualifier, second overall on the Thames last year, but didn't qualify because the guy who won my zone won the match <clears throat> with a big weight of brim. But I've had a lovely day catching chub and chublets today and uh, doing my own thing. I think 90% of people would have just fished the waggler today, but I set them both up and I just fancied it for catching on a pole, especially because of the downstream wind. And uh, it's been dead right, really, sandwiched between two river legends, Trevor Chalk and Paul Pasmore, who I've got maximum respect for both and uh, they would have beat me if it was an out and out waggler day so i've fished to my strengths and uh got the result opening day of the river season so have happy days and also it was a a witch haven qualifier as well so i've qualified for the witch haven august bank holiday which i've won twice before so you never know maybe it'll be my year if, if I'm well enough and I can beat this long COVID. So uh, sorry, sorry you guys have to see me like this. It takes a lot out of me. I've been a bit emotional today, but I'm all right now. And I'll get home and uh, just chill out now. Thanks guys for watching, happy days. I know I look like crap, but I could still fish a bit. So uh, let's get home and get rested. Thanks for watching.